hello, are you ready to accept that we've been lied to since birth about a lot of things? Are you ready to learn about real world connection to the spiritual realm in the spiritual battle for the mind? All right, you can always find the Patreon channel link in the video description below. And if you hop on over there, you can see a short public video to learn more about the type of content you will find on that channel. Now, onward to the YouTube video. Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to someone that goes by the hidden gateway. Thank you for your continued support. And I want to dive into something here, you all. Okay, listen. <laughs> all right, you know, classic triangulation, okay, with these narcissistic abusers. Okay, that triangulation, it stems from all of their envy and jealousy. Yes, the demon of jealousy and the demon of envy. It stems from that. Because they cannot stand to see other people succeed. All right, these narcissistic abusers cannot stand to see others doing what they perceive as better than. Let me tell y'all, God put unique talent and gift in each and every one of us. Instead of trying to figure out what that would be for them, they'd rather sit there and, and you know, have all that jealousy and the hate and the envy. Because remember, they're self-loathing. Alright? They don't, they hate themselves. So naturally, they're going to project that outward. Okay? And so they're going to, hey, some of us have had them admit that they hate people. Alright? And that's just, you know what? That's the demon of hate. All right, so there you go. You're going to have a demon of hate, demon of jealousy, demon of envy. Are all part of the package right there. All right, and that's why they triangulate. And then there's another reason why, okay, they want to triangulate. Is, you know, pitting two, well, for division, right? Pitting two people against each other to feed their ego, okay? They love, these narcissistic abusers, or the evildoers, they love to stroke their ego and have people fighting over them, right? Many times, okay, we have experienced those moments, right? But then there comes a time, because remember, the righteous are bold as a lion. And so another example of being bold as a lion is basically telling, when you can see that somebody's trying to do that triangulation, right? Like, try to get you to be the messenger, okay? All right, you'll be able to tell. Not the same thing as if you're working with the team and you're trying to get a hold of one team member, but you you know you're not getting any response there, and you're all working on a project together. It's different when you reach out to another team member who's oh okay they went and confirmed it and caught back to me and said all right we're good to go. That's different. That's not triangulation, y'all. Yeah, you know, that's just we're trying to get an answer. <laughs> okay, from someone. Alright, that's it. But when the narcissistic abuser tries to do that triangulation, you can sense it. Okay, you can sense it because you can sense they're trying to make you jealous of their other supply or somebody else. Okay, when they're trying to make you jealous. You can sense it. Like, we can sense it. We're like, ew, because it's very negative. Alright, chosen ones don't have a jealous bone in their body. I'm here to tell you that. I'm not the only one. Alright, the chosen one. Okay, chosen children of God. You all have a jealous bone in your body because we know what God says about do not covet thy neighbor. Instead, neighbor gets a new car. Neighbor gets a promotion. Congratulations! That's awesome. They work for it. Okay, and we don't know what all went into that. But we can guess. <laughs> okay, that, hey, they earned it. All right, so congratulations. Kudos. All right, we're supposed to be cheering each other on. All right, the complete opposite of what narcissistic abusers and the abuse tried to do by tearing people down. No, we're not to do that. We're supposed to overcome evil with good. Okay? And so, no, when we see somebody else, it's like, okay, so they got maybe a new house. Cool. Congratulations. That's awesome. It was their time. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Everything on God's time. So, we're happy for them, because we know that one day, it'll be ours. One day, we'll have whatever it is we work for, right? God is a promise keeper, right? But we sense when they're trying to do that triangulation, because, 
you know, it, it had that spiritual energy, you know, it's off. It's very negative. And so we can sense it. And we're like, mm mm, no, uh uh. I'm going to share with you all the ex psycho when he tried to do that with me and his pretend mistress. <laughs> oh, man. He did. And he actually came out and asked me if I was jealous of her. And I busted out laughing. I'm going to tell y'all something. Wow. I mean, he, it, it was like he was not hiding in plain sight with that one. I was like, oh, I see what you're trying to do. I was like, I was like, jealous of that? No way! You know, I was like, nah, and, and I don't have a gel, jealous bone in my body. And like, he knew that. Uh, he knew that. He was trying to see if he could get me jealous of his pretend mistress, who was just a splitting image of himself. Okay, another psycho. Yep, just like him. Like, that's what I'm telling y'all. That's what they end up with. Alright? If they're, if they're still able to pair up with another, you know, a partner of some kind of whatever, that's what they end up with is an exact replica of themselves. There you go. All right, for anybody who was wondering, that's what happens to them. All right, if they're still able to partner up, okay, or still able to find supply, they're going to end up with an exact replica of themselves, period. Bottom line, end of story. This is why God lets us know. That you'll know, turn it over to him and let them take each other out. Okay? Stay all about our Heavenly Father's business. Let the dead bury their dad. Ah, see? There we go. That's God's master plan. So we understand this better. And we just keep on keeping on. We don't let them triangulate us. Uh uh. Many of us got to that point where we could see, oh, you want me to be the. No. If it's, a, if it's an argument of some kind between two people, I'm like, mm -mm -mm -mm. nope, that's A, B, I'm seeing my way out, I'm not, we don't allow ourselves, you see what I'm saying, that's the power and authority we have within us, okay, being bold as a lion, we don't let them drag us into it, because again, that triangulation is also all about chaos and drama, they want to get us sucked into their little chaos and drama, and we're like, no thanks, <laughs> it doesn't belong to us. Okay, we're like, no, we're good. All right, we walk away. I was like, no, they're going to have to work that out themselves. Now, I'm getting in the middle. It has nothing to do with us. You see, that's the thing. They want to try and make it a part of us, you know, a part of our lives, whatever, their own issues. They want remember something. The video I did... About how these narcissistic abusers want us to take on their problems. Well, that's one of the other reasons why they will engage in the triangulation. They want us to take on their problems. Their problems don't belong to us. Uh-uh. Their problems belong to them. They got to work it out. Just like we all do. They got to work that out. That's working out that salvation. If they choose to. But one thing we do learn is that with narcissistic abusers, they prefer to hang on to the problem. They focus on, well, gee, no wonder they always have problems because they stay focused on problems instead of trying to find solutions. See, they got to have those problems also because they got to feed their demon and complain. So there you go. They got to have some reason to be complaining. They're not happy. They're not grateful. Right, and chosen ones, we get to that point, it's like, we are not going to walk in the counsel of the unrighteous. Because being ungrateful, and what God means by not walking in the counsel, meaning don't engage in the unrighteousness, we don't react, cut them off at the soul level if we must. God understands our situation and our circumstances, whatever they may be. But he's talking in the spiritual, you all. Okay, talk about in the spiritual. We don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Okay, until God will finally get us out from under that physically. Okay, he will get us physically away from it. Right, For whatever it is. But we must do so first in the spirit. Okay, in the spiritual. Cut them off at the soul level. Boundary. Telling them no. Not letting ourselves get pulled into their chaos and drama and the triangulation. Not letting ourselves get pulled in a million different directions. Remember, all right, we're not being tossed to and fro with the wind anymore. All right, we're staying on the narrow path. Focused all about our Heavenly Father's business. 
and we let that all fall around us. Okay? There you go. Just get the visual. Now God is out there making way, right? He's parting the Red Sea. There's your metaphor. Okay? Making a way. That's right. Working all out in our favor. While all these narcissistic abusers out there just taking each other out. We stay on that narrow path of righteousness with Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God. Okay? The Godhead. And you'll see more and more, the further up you get on the spiritual ladder, exactly what God needs you to see. And so we learn that they're going to have to figure it out. They want to triangulate out of their own envy and jealousy. But it ain't going to work on a chosen one anymore. No, we're not going to fall for it. We used to, but we don't anymore. Many of us stopped falling for it even before we knew that's what it was. But we knew, like, mm, that's, that's not right. You know, that's not our battle. See, it's all part of knowing we choose our battles wisely, right? Okay, because overall, we're in a spiritual battle for the mind. Right, but... On the individual level, in the physical, we choose our battles wisely. And their battles and their problems are not ours. Oh, they want to try to make their problems our problems. But we don't let them. Because we know that it has nothing to do with us. Yeah. See, they, <laughs> they remember they got the fantasy in their head that we had a part in it somehow. When... The reality is we didn't. Remember how they always tried to tell us what we were thinking, what we were feeling, and we're like, no. And they get it wrong every time with the chosen one. Okay, well, there you go. Because they got that demon of assumption. So y'all see the pattern here? Okay. Demon of envy, demon of jealousy, demon of hate, demon of complaining. Ah, okay. That's right. And the demon of assumption. It's like I've said before. That when you come across a narc, they're not going to have just one demon spirit. Because just one by itself isn't going to be, quote unquote, powerful enough. Spiritually speaking. Okay? Negative. It's a negative kind of power. It's not, it's not a positive. Okay? So there's always going to be at least three or more. There's going to be a package. And then, of course, again, for whoever needs this reminder, the Jezebel... They got the whole enchilada. They got every single demon spirit there is to lift. They've got every negative emotion attached to them. They have internalized every single negative emotion. Remember, negative emotion equal demon spirit, y'all. Wow, that's just, you know, when you break it down in its simplicity, it's like, wow. So, for anybody who's wondering how many demon spirits there are, if you want to have a little bit of a fun activity, some of us have embarked on this. Start making a list of all the negative emotions. Not focusing on them, but negative emotions. And I'll tell you how many demon spirits there are. And that's, good. that's a list that'll take a while. <laughs> Alright, so give yourself time if you choose to do that activity. But just know that anything that you sent and you know is a negative, uh -huh, negative energy, that's demon spirit. That's simple, okay? Just know that for whoever's wondering. Right? But that triangulation is just a classic mind game that the not like to play. Because they're cowards. And they don't want the problem solved. And they want to try to drag as many people down with them as they possibly can. And what better way to do that than to suck them into chaos and drama with whatever it is that was going on between two people. That should just be worked out between those two. But they drag as many people as they can into it with them. That's right. To stir things up. To try and get their target jealous of the... Yeah, all kinds of things. Alright, so never forget that, y'all. Very important. Alright. So, as always, if you've got any questions, you know where to reach me for additional information, insight, and other good stuff. Check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.